Hey guys, if you are a creator and you want to make stuff, whether it's a key ring, whether it's a poster, whether it's a bag, whether it's a plushie, if you want to make stuff and if you want to sell it, you've got to watch this video. Let me just start by saying that I'm not a lawyer and I can't give you independent legal advice, but if you're like most creators, at one point or another, you thought about the idea that, hey, I've seen a lot of people on social media, I've seen a lot of people on Etsy, Instagram, YouTube, selling like, for example, Mickey Mouse key rings. They're making like Donald Duck little crochet plushies. And I could do that. I'm good at crochet. I'm good at making key rings and I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to post them on all these things and then I'm going to make a zillion dollars because it's a popular character. Everyone wants a Mickey Mouse key ring. So that's the thing I'm going to do. Here's one problem. <laughs> Mickey Mouse isn't yours. He doesn't belong to you. He belongs to Disney. And you are basically taking their intellectual property and trying to make money for yourself. And guess what? Do you think Disney's gonna be happy with that? Do you think Disney's gonna allow this to happen? Now, a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, heaps of people do it online. I've seen it all over my feed and they're getting away with it. Well, guess what? They're not really getting away with it because you know why? The only reason why Disney or other big brands, when you're stealing their characters, aren't gonna sue the hell out of you is one is because they don't know and they don't know because you're not big enough, you're not popular enough, nobody knows you here anyway. So theoretically, from that point of view, you're not making any money anyway. Two is they consider you to be such small fry that they can't be bothered wasting their resource to get to you. Three, this is a really unlikely one, is that they think, oh, we're not gonna make that line of product anyway, so let's just let them do it. No, uh, that's not gonna happen. And four is they're gonna look at your stuff and say, this stuff is so cool, they're going to approach you to do a collab and help them to make better products. And if you're thinking that, you're, unless you're the 0.00001% who are so talented that Disney wants you or Mattel wants you or Universal wants you, that ain't going to happen either. So the only realistic reason why people aren't coming after you is because either you're not big enough that I know about you or two is they just can't be bothered wasting their time because you're not big enough and nobody knows about you. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about you making Mickey Mouse plushies to give away to your friends and your family because Disney doesn't care about that. But if you're using their IP and you're using it to try and make a profit, that is actually illegal. That is actually theft. And, you know, even if you get away with it for a short period of time, do you feel comfortable always looking over your shoulder just in case a brand actually sees it? Do you actually want to create a reputation where the brand that you look up to so much that you want to make their stuff because you love that stuff so much that they're going to hate you because you're stealing their stuff. What is the worst thing can happen? Nothing. They can give you a warning and get you to take all your stuff down. They can actually sue you. And I guess the worst case scenario, you could go to jail. Now, none of those sound very pleasant to me. And no matter how successful I was, I wouldn't feel too good about it if I was always worried that somebody, that I didn't want the brand that I was actually making this stuff of I didn't want them to know that I was making it because as soon as they do, I know that I'm going to get in trouble. That is not a way to run a business. That is not an ethical way to run a business. And that's not good for your mind either. So instead of doing that, why don't you consider making your own IP? You could make your own Mickey Mouse as long as you don't make him red and black and call him Ricky Mouse. Why don't you do something original, something that no one else has ever thought of, something that could be even cooler and then make it your own rather than just copy somebody else. I mean, it's like, even if you get away for a period of time and you think, well, no one else is getting busted. I see all these people online, they're not getting busted, they're still making stuff and they're really happy to promote it. Do you want to live like that? Do you want to be always in the shadow of somebody else? Do you always want to be worried? Are you actually going to feel bad about the fact that none of the stuff you make is stuff you made? Like a lot of people make excuses to say, why well, I'm not stealing it. Basically, I'm like just, copying the pattern or I'm just cutting out a little Pokemon out of a Pokemon card and sticking on the front of a notebook and saying this is the new Pikachu notebook that I made that you could buy. How could people feel good about that? It's not your stuff. It's the same as stealing. The only thing that I believe here is legal is if you actually buy something and resell it. That's different because you're not tampering with it, you're not altering it. You're basically just trying to make a profit based on supply and demand. So for example, I know in my channel I've been making some videos about Pokemon cards. If you buy a pack, you don't open it and you sell it for a profit, you're not stealing the IP of Pokemon. You're basically just buying something for a price and just trying to sell it for a high price. You're not altering the stuff. You're not saying it's yours. You're not saying this is my packet of Pokemon cards where I made these cards. You're just basically reselling and that's completely different and I'm completely okay with that. If you want to flip stuff by going to garage sales and 
buying stuff and then not altering and selling, that's perfectly fine. But if you're actually altering stuff and pretending it's your own, that is not on, that is not cool. But you know, let's face it, we've all thought about it at one time or the other because it's the easy way out, already there for us to use. But you know, these big brands, they've invested millions and millions of dollars into research and development. They've invested millions of dollars into marketing these products and you want to just jump on the bandwagon and steal all their thunder for free. It is absolutely ridiculous that you think that you can get away with something like that and not face the repercussions when they finally find out. So let's go, let's make our own stuff, let's market the shit out of it, let's show everyone how capable, how talented, how good we are by making our own stuff if we want to sell it rather than copying somebody else and pretending that it's ours. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with what I've said in this video because I really think that there's a lot of fakeness around. There's a lot of stuff where every time you go to a market, you're gonna see all these key rings and fridge magnets and all this stuff. And you know that these people have not had permission from the brand to make these, but yet they go and make them and they sell them for profit. And I just think that's wrong. And I think the world needs a lot more creative people who actually want to do something that's right, do something that's positive, do something that's innovative. And these people are not. I don't know what else to say. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time in another video. Bye.